I, I'd like us to take those words as a call to make up a new world, to imagine into being a new kind of society, a society where women know who they really, really are and trust who they are and love who they are and don't try to fit themselves into a constructed reality, but instead to create a new one where love and power are no longer opposites, where the health and well-being of children is a primary value of the whole society, way more primary than being thin or rich or famous, where the fate of a polar bear or a forest or a stream is so very important to the powers that be that sacrificing some of the bottom line is a no-brainer a new cultural reality where movies about love and romance and relationships aren't called chick flicks, but they're just called a movie. <laughs> like the way movies about battles or crime or car chases are just called movies. A new reality where communication becomes lionized, where love between people is no longer the domain of cheesy greeting cards, but a valid, respected instinct to be cultivated and taught, like the way warfare is taught at West Point, and business is taught at Wharton and law at Harvard. Let's imagine into being schools of relationship and parenting and peacemaking. Why not? Those other schools don't have to go away. We just have to get busy. <laughs> <laughs>